We about to do this? Yep. Agents do go to school. It's about 96 hours. But still, it's not 10 months. Agents go to school to learn the ethics, to learn how the business is run, and they take a test. Barbers do what they do. But personally, I think barbers should do the same thing. Go to some classes, learn safety, understand the business, and then take a test. The whole idea of 10 months of esthetician school or barber school or whatever you want to call it is a money grab. That's all it is. It's just a money grab. I mean, think about it. You learn the safety of the business. You take the test. You pass it. Then it's up to you as a barber to be good at what you do. If you want to take extra classes, take extra classes. If you just want to practice, find out how to practice. You don't need to go to school for 10 months to learn how to be a barber. Did you know that you can get your hair cut right now from someone who's not licensed? Heck, I know a high school kid who cuts hair just about as good as anybody else. If you get a barber's license and you don't want to practice, you don't want to go to the special classes to learn all the techniques and all that, then you can go ahead and charge that $20 that you mentioned. But if you want to be good and you want to charge anywhere from $30 up to $100, then you might want to take some classes. You might want to learn how it's done. You might want to learn all the different styles. You might want to understand it a little bit better, right? Well, that's what real estate agents do. We take classes. We study. We learn. We know all the ins and outs of a very, very intensive business. I could charge a minimal fee, but that's not going to touch the effort that I put into it. It's not going to touch the classes that I've taken, the coaching that I've taken, all the different things that run into this business to make me good at what I do. $20 for a haircut. Where do you go? Great Clips? I don't even think they charge $20. So assuming you're that person that would say, you just buy a sign at Home Depot and put it in the yard and blah, 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 blah. You really could. You can. You absolutely can. Will you get the best results? That's up in the air. But judging by how smart you are and how much you know about everything, you probably would, right? Let's dive in a little deeper. Being a barber is less risky. Sure, there's risk at the beginning, but you're working with one client at a time, half hour at a time, and you're making less money say $50 per client or 40 or 30. But over time, as you build up a client basis, you know what you're getting just about every month. You can guess pretty close to what your monthly income is going to be once you get your clientele base built up. With real estate, we don't. We have no idea from one to the next. We don't know when someone's moving. We sell a house to somebody we expect them to stay there for a long time. Now, I know you're a little confused, which is why I'm not going to expect you to do what I'm going to say next. If it's that easy, and you can make that much money, why don't you just go do it? That makes sense to me. I mean, if I knew something was that easy and it was right in front of me and heck, you could just go make tons of money and it's really not that hard, I would do that in a heartbeat. But there's a reason why 90% of the people that get in this business fail. Yeah, I just did the Joe Biden whisper. Bottom line, until you're ready to put your balls on the line and go out there and do it, don't talk about it. Don't say it's so easy. Okay, Captain?